at 11, it is now illegal to drive with Virginia license plates featuring the Confederate flag. Drivers had until last week to swap them out for new ones without the flag. But some aren't letting them go and plan to defy the law. Ten of your side's Aaron Kelly talked to one man who still has them on his vehicle. Aaron? Hey, Kevin Collier of Suffolk is a commander of the Stonewall Camp of the Sons of Confederate Veterans. He's not giving up his license plate, and according to the DMV, others aren't either. The current license plate has been canceled <coughs> without my permission. Uh, and your new plates must be displayed within 30 days of the date on this letter. The letter Kevin Collier is reading is from the Department of Motor Vehicles, telling him to swap out his Confederate flag license plate for a new one without the flag. The design of the SCV plate has been the subject of recent decisions by the U.S. Supreme Court. Governor Terry McAuliffe called for the change this summer after a man pictured posing with the flag was accused of killing nine African Americans in a South Carolina church. Collier has missed the deadline to change plates and says he doesn't plan to. Next thing you know, uh, they're going to say, you can't wear blue on Monday. You know, or you can't wear yellow on Thursday. You know, where is it going in? And when people say that that flag has a connotation that to them they view as hate. Well, that's on the way you think about it. The Department of Motor Vehicles says of 1,600 people in Collier's situation, only 187 have returned the old plates. Some who didn't want the new ones sent them back, writing, no thank you. That means everything to me. That's my heritage. That's everything. That means that's who I am. Collier says his great-great-great-grandfather fought with the Confederacy. You know, I can't fight on the battlefield like they did, but I can fight however I can in modern times, and I will not give them plates up. Now, the DMV says it attempted to work with the Sons of Confederate Veterans on the design of the new plate, but the organization didn't respond. The old plates became invalid on October 4th, and it's considered a misdemeanor to drive with them. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.